Boy, another close call with falling ice for a Southland family. This is the second scary incident in our area in just two months. Looks like a pretty big chunk of ice there. Now, yeah. Kate Line's Tina Patel spoke with a San Bernardino family who say something needs to be done before someone is killed. And Tina, where did the ice come from? Well, that's what they're trying to figure out. This couple has lived in the San Bernardino neighborhood for decades, and they say they've always known that planes fly overhead going to both Ontario and LAX. They never realized, though, that that meant something like this could happen. Something like a basketball. Claude L. Curry and his wife Odell were watching TV Sunday night when all of a sudden... This horrendous boom, and uh, the house just shook and trembled. At first, they couldn't tell what had happened, but then Claudel walked past their bedroom. Side glance, I saw all that stuff on the, and I said, what in the world? So I went in and all of this stuff there, you know. There was a hole in the ceiling. He could see all the way through to the sky. And not only was there insulation and pieces of drywall on the bed, there were also chunks of ice. Snow white, this ice was, and heavy, you know, each piece was, like iron. Claudel believes the ice fell from a passing airplane. It's a rare occurrence that the FAA says would only happen if the plane had a leak in a galley system. But it happened to a homeowner in Chino just last month. Luckily, no one was hurt in either case. But Claudel and his wife say they couldn't sleep last night, thinking about what could have been and wondering if it might happen again. Something needs to be done about this. Someone can get killed. And we came close to it, too. That was Tina Patel reporting tonight.